There are some absolutely massive animals on Earth today. Whales, elephants, giraffes, and the list goes on. But why aren't there any giant insects? They are the most widespread and diverse group of animals on the planet. The largest ones, such as the elephant beetle or the giant weta, weigh at max just a few ounces. But could they get any bigger? Well, in Fallout 4, there are some huge ones. But let's include all arthropods instead of just insects, because then we can include myrolurks and rad scorpions. In Fallout, all these animals are supposed to be mutated versions of the animals that are alive today. Bloatflies are flies, rad roaches are roaches, blood bugs are mosquitoes, stingwings are scorpion flies, rad scorpions are pretty obvious, and myrolurks are horseshoe crabs. To explain if these animals are possible, we need to understand why there are no large ones right now. And for the most part, it comes down to oxygen. Our lungs allow us to breathe, but arthropods don't have lungs. They breathe through tiny little holes all over their body called spiracles that let the air in. They branch into these really tiny tracheal tubes leading to individual cells. As insects get larger, they need exponentially more tubes because the volume of their body increases faster than the surface area as they get larger. Also, arthropods have exoskeletons, which means their body structure is held up by the hard chitin on the outside of their body. As they get larger, it becomes harder and harder for the exoskeleton to hold up the mass of the animal in place. So this means that all large arthropods are impossible, right? Wrong! Earth's level of oxygen has fluctuated throughout the years. Hundreds of millions of years ago, there was much more oxygen, which led to some huge arthropods. There was a dragonfly with a wingspan of 75 centimeters, a centipede a meter long, a scorpion 60 centimeters in length, and a sea scorpion almost three meters long that could probably cut off your head with one pinch. Wait, I need to calculate that. Carry the two. Yeah, it could definitely cut off your head. So this means that the arthropods in Fallout definitely could happen, right? No, not really. The oxygen is necessary for large insects, and unless nuclear fallout somehow through some weird cascading effect caused Earth to have much more oxygen, the arthropods just couldn't happen. The radiation from the nuclear weapons could not cause these arthropods to exist. So now you know that these huge, scary animals may not be as far-fetched as you might have thought. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a super duper delicious day.